Good evening and welcome back. Uh, as I said in the last video, I will just give you a quick look around over the new studio, the new setup, and I'm absolutely happy with it. So the table itself is quite easy, it's just IKEA with some shelf uh, that I bought from Obi. And the master keyboard, you already know it because I talked about it in the last videos. It's the Chrome 88 with the hammer action weighted keys. And uh, the biggest uh, news is the new heart of everything, which is the new um, PowerBook 13 in the highest configuration that you can get. So uh, there are 32 gig of RAM in it. It's a um, two tera SSD hard drive and the i7 processor. And just to give you a small idea of how capable this thing is, the last project that I was working on, on the Windows PC, uh, it took about four minutes to load up. Uh, on this beast, it takes 20 seconds. So. I think you get the idea. Then there's this wonderful, lovely 27 inch screen. And uh, what I love most about it is the simple fact that everything is attached on the back. Uh, so all the hardware that you see is just attached on the back of the screen and there's one Thunderbolt cable that gets into the Mac. So when I'm working, um, during traveling, when I'm outside on the terrace, just sitting and doing something and then, you know, I have the laptop, uh, quite capable, quite portable. When I get back into the studio, I just take in one single cable and everything is hooked up, which makes it absolutely nice to work, absolutely quick. So they are not like I used to have uh, 27 uh, cables to to plug in. Um, then I have this nice thing here, the, the Cork Nano Control, which helps me a lot just getting expression and dynamics into the tracks. So if I'm recording strings, for example, I can do s just easily something like this. I, I take down the faders and then... You see, I, I can make these... Uh, Uh, which is quite useful if you like to make uh, orchestral music then you see you have here all the curves that you record the audio and the midi interface there is the new native instruments complete uh, audio 6 mk2 um, does a good job has even um, four outputs so i can get the audio into the amplifier which is the yamaha a100a with these lovely Yamaha NS10M uh, studio speakers, but I can also get the sound easily out into the big mixer to then record the audio on the, on the other computer. So as you can see, I have the microphone here, so that the setup is 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 way better now to make um, the movies. And I think um, more or less that's it. Um, then obviously, you know, I'm, I'm working with these uh, virtual sample libraries and, and yes, the more you have, uh, the better it is, uh, even if it takes a lot, a lot, a lot of time and effort to get an, into every single sound and all the details that you can get out, out of every single sound. I mean, I have something like 10 or 12 trumpet sounds or 10 oboe sounds, but they're all different and every sound is suitable for something so you really need to know them and um, I love Project Sam I'm big big fan of Spitfire audio but at the moment I'm giving a chance even to native instruments with the complete 12 and there are some absolutely jewels in it you just have to dig for them and then obviously another big change is my door for the last year I was working with Studio One and to be honest I loved it so Studio One is absolutely wonderful as a DAW. There's even this free version. So if you're just starting with music and you do not have that much money to invest, you can get the free version. And there's the artist version, there's the pro version. And it's very easy to use, even like a controller like this. I'm, I'm still not capable to make it run in, in Logic because Logic or wants to have it as the CC controller or as the DAW controller itself, but you can't take both of them get, to get work. And in uh, Studio One, 
it was just like, okay, there's a controller. I show you all the buttons. There's a learning mode. And then you say, you, you take on all these buttons. And then you explain to the program. So this is start, this is stop, this is record. This is CC1, this is CC7. So, um, okay, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm getting, we're now going to have the Macintosh now. So the, the logical step, obviously, was getting back to, to Logic Pro. So I'm getting back to my roots because I started something like 30 years ago making music with the Atari 1040 and there was the creator and then there came out Notator. I mean, I had a tiny black and white screen on it and, um, you know, there haven't been even notes. Yeah, there wasn't a notation. So after the creator, there came Notator and then what's so funny, you know, Notator then became Notator Logic which was still by Imagic, and then the whole thing um, became finally from Imagic, the Logic Audio, so the first movies I did, I did it with this uh, nice little um, thing called the Logic Audio, and now it's uh, the Logic Pro X um, from, from Mac, because Macintosh uh, Apple now bought uh, the whole Logic concept, and yeah, it's something like just getting home, getting back to the roots, and um, it's a beast. It's a beast. I mean, the learning co curve will be quite um, <laughs> steep, but but I'm yeah, I'm I'm doing my first steps even in, in Logic Pro. So I hope the next um, video that I will show you getting back making music finally with this lovely new setup uh, will be already in Logic then and. Um, even the next steps on how to start getting music, which I started, you know, just having a workstation. And then there, there will be other videos, obviously. They will be then in, in Logic already. And, and only if I have to do really complicated things just to be fast or something, I may, may get back to Studio One. But my final goal, obviously, is just uh, getting back to Logic. Yeah, and that's it. Um, that's my new studio setup. Now you know all the, the, the hardware and the software that I'm using. And if you have questions, if you have comments, if you want to know something, just uh, write it in the comments below. If you liked even this video, just hit a like. Uh, if you want to follow other things, subscribe. And have a nice evening. Goodbye.